everyone. We're going to have a great day together. I'm your friend, Joy Anderson, and we're going to be teaching a special workshop. So if you're here, put on your camera. Hello, hello. And totally understand if you can't put on your camera, no worries. It is a busy Saturday morning. Um, what I would encourage you to do, let me pin this here. What I encourage you to do today. Oh, I forgot to, forgot to get off my camera. One second. <laughs> I have to fix my camera. It's a little bit blurry. Give me one second. And we're back. Little tip for everyone, make sure your webcam is cleaned off before you go live. Okay, welcome everyone. Here is the plan. We have a three-part plan to today's workshop. Number, well, four, I suppose. Number one, we are going to be teaching you a brand new workshop, never done it before, called How to Start an Online Preschool and Kids Club with Students in just one hour. And I'm actually going to show you how it can be done in less than one hour. So I've got a timetable on my hands because we don't have all day together. So I'm, I don't know, I'm going to shoot for 30 minutes, <gasps> how you can actually start it in 30 minutes, literally from start to finish. Okay. But you know, I'm going to give you like an hour because maybe you're learning, right? Brand new. Um, so, and also who is on our call today? Let me know if you are like brand new to me within the first like last two weeks. Okay. Um, now also the only people who got this link because you are an action taker is our book owners. So congratulations. Give me a hashtag um, book because you have my book. And honestly, this is uh, this is why we have such few people because um, not everybody's able to join, but of course it's book owners only. So good job for taking action, uh, post action taker in the chat because you are an action taker, my friends. And I love action takers. Um, I always say I reward those who take action the first time I ask. And you're gonna find out at the end of this call exactly what that means. Uh, because I got a special bonus for early birds, okay, and all the things. So where are we going? First, we're going to teach that workshop, okay, how to start it. Then we are going to actually live show you. I'm going to literally show you every single step that you will take inside of our program to start that online preschool quickly uh, in less than an hour, like literally get it up and going. Okay. We always encourage, like, if you're kind of a busy, uh, you got a busy day, busy life right now, or you're not quite sure when you're going to start your preschool, whatever you can absolutely get started with online preschool within an hour. And we'll show you how to get students too. That's the second component. The third component is we're going to teach you what is your next step. And then finally, we're going to go into Q and a, all right. And stay tuned because we have an extra special early bird bonus for anybody who joins preschool all-stars tomorrow night. What? That's right. Technically preschool all-stars is opening on Monday to everybody else, the public. However, you're a special action taker. So we're actually going to open it up Sunday night for you and give an early bird bonus for those who jump in Sunday night. Okay. Well, let's dive right in and I'm going to share the screen. Do, 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 do. Perfect. Share screen. And yes, you will get the recording. So no worries. Share screen. You guys are have these issues too. It's right there. It's bold and green. Okay, we got it. Um, sweet. Here we go, friends. We're diving in. We're getting started. And as as I said, if you have any questions, post them in the chat uh, so that we can help you along. Okay, we're ready to get started here. This is the plan. We're going to teach you how to start your online preschool and kid club with students in just an hour. Now, let me know in the chat. Um. If you, if this is your first workshop with me, or you went to last workshop as well. So it's put in first, if this is your first workshop or second, if this is your second, because you went to last Saturday as well, we got a lot of first workshops. Amazing. Uh, some of you second, fantastic. Okay. So here's the deal with online preschool. Um, it's really important that we understand that we have to understand the basics first, right? So I can go teach you how to start an online preschool like in under an hour, but that's the that's like the technical com components. That's like your website and how do we actually get students and we'll teach you that. Um, literally I'll live, live do it with you. However, we still have to know the basic foundation, like what is an online preschool? How can we set it up? Why would we wanna do it? How is it different than local? So I'm gonna kind of go through some of those things right now with you. And uh, of course, if you have any questions, post them in the chat, and then we'll answer your questions at the very end too, if they haven't been answered. So this is how we're going to get started. Um, let's first uh, go into, oh, 
way over here. There we go. Okay. First, we're going to divide our paper into eight segments. Now, some of you who went to last week's workshop are like, Joy, I already did this. No worries. This is kind of a review for those who haven't done it yet. And also going to be a good review for you too, if you haven't thought about online. But also we're going to take a completely different perspective on this. Uh, we're going to focus on online for this one. Okay. And I'll kind of show some variations of local, but mostly we're focused on online with this one. Versus last time we were mostly focused on local. Okay, so just kind of divide your paper into eight segments. We're gonna keep coming back to the screen. So you, you can even just label them one through eight. It does not have to be, um, you don't have to write all the words, but you're welcome to. Number one, why a preschool? Number two, online or local? Number three, location? Number four, schedule? Number five, number of students? Number six, income you can make. Number seven, startup costs paid. And number eight, next step. Don't worry, we're going to come back to this. So if you haven't written it all, just jot down the numbers and we're going to come back. Okay, before we dive into that today, just want to give a quick recap on who I am because uh, some of you are coming brand new to me and you just found me on a Facebook ad, most likely post Facebook ad or just ad if that's how you found me ever. Some of you found me on Google or YouTube. Um, that's probably the only places, but most of you found the ad, okay, for our free book. And of course, the only people who are here today are book owners. So good job, action taker. Okay, so what we're going to do is I want to share a little bit about myself. And I'm going to go kind of quick through this because I've shared my story a lot. Um, but basically in 2008, I was, a, uh, I was a mom of three kids and trying to figure out how to create extra income. Yeah. Um, and in that case... What are some of the things that you've done to create extra income? So for me, um, I sold stuff on eBay. I also took my kids' things to consignment shops. I did Pampered Chef. <laughs> Has anybody done like a network marketing, MLM, uh, home party kind of business? Um, so those were some things I did on the side to make extra money. Well, what I realized was, yay, as a stay-at-home mom, all I had was time. But all of this time was spent in these businesses and not really producing me much of a revenue. At most in the month, I made about $300 in the month. And which was kind of okay, because in that situation, we just needed a little bit extra income for, you know, medical bills or the school supplies or the school clothes or, you know, the car broke down or the car, I mean, how many times the car broke down, right? <laughs> um, so those kind of things, right? Always that extra, but we were never getting ahead. Um, it was one of those things where any extra money would be appreciated, but like, you know, the debt was starting to rack up and we could just never get ahead. So let me know in the comments, hashtag feel that if that's kind of, yeah, been there. <laughs> um, and so married uh, eight years and then not going to go into the details, but one night, you know, our marriage was absolutely falling apart after eight years. Um, and one night I came into my office, just really overwhelmed with everything that was going in our home, um, how, this was not as I expected. And I had always, you know, thought that things were going to get better. Um, I had hoped that the life that we had started would, you know, go back into having the same values. It was definitely like how we started the marriage was absolutely not where we were eight years later. Um, and honestly, I just needed to protect my kids from a lot of things. And so I always thought, though, that things were going to get better. Let me know. Fill that in the comments if you also felt that. I always felt things are going to get better. Like, And I kept thinking, you know, he's going to change. Things will get better. You know, give it a couple years. And I held on to that for seven years. Um, and then sitting in my office one Sunday night after a very difficult Sunday, door shut and just kind of like trying to be away from all that was going on. I just sat with myself and immediately I had this thought come to me and it was joy. This is your life and it will not change. Oh boy. After thinking for years that my life was going to change, this realization was like gut wrenching, right? Oh crap. And I knew that the next morning I was going to take my kids and leave. And I couldn't fathom though what we were going to do. And so I needed to get out of the house. I took my three kids. We went to the park in the neighborhood while they're playing over there, have no clue what's going to happen to them tomorrow. Uh, I sat down on the bench with the full weight of what was going to go on in my life on my shoulders. And I was thinking to myself, 
How am I going to provide for them? I have been a stay-at-home mom for eight years. I don't have a resume with any experience uh, for eight years. I have done stuff on the side, no, no actual money. What am I just supposed to do? A gazillion home jobs, you know, to make 300 times 10 or something. I don't know how to produce this income. I don't know how to, to provide for them. And I remember in the back of my head, something that my husband at the time would always tell me, he would say, Joy, who's going to hire you? You can't make it on your own. And I had that, I had those thoughts in my head. There's nobody that's going to hire me. I thought I only had two options. One was go get a job and put my kids in daycare. Number one, who would even hire me? But number two, I did not want to put my kids in daycare. Like they were going to need me now more than ever, right? So the concept of like leaving them, let me know if that's something you've gone through as well. You feel that you've been there. It's heart-wrenching to leave your kiddos when you know they need you. Now, I thought the only other option I had was everyone else had told me to start a daycare if you want to stay home. Who's heard that, right? Uh, I think every mom out there has heard that. They're like, well, hey, you should, you know, I, my sister, my whoever, you know, they started a daycare or I started a daycare. And if you want to stay home with your kids, definitely start a daycare, right? Because then you can be home with them and uh, whatever. But then I remembered my sister and she had been home with uh, her kids, obviously, but she needed more income. So she started a daycare and she would tell me how after these long 12 hour days, cause she was open from, you know, I think it was six to six. Um, cause some people would be like, Oh, I need uh seven to five. And then others would be like, I need six to four. And you know what I mean? And then others like, well, I need eight to six. And so because of that, she had to open, extend her hours to 12 hours. So she was taking kids all 12 hours, um, as they came in and out infants after school, before care, all the things. And she was absolutely exhausted. Because she still had, I don't know how many kids she's got, three, four, four to five, something like that. And <laughs> who doesn't know how many, you know, nephews and nieces you might have. Um, so she she would just say to me, like, as we I was talking to her, you know, she would say, oh, my gosh, like, um, kids would come in. I'd have to wake up so, so early. I'd be exhausted throughout the day, but I'd have to keep it on, you know, keep the happiness on. And then the kids would leave at six. And I still had dinner to make homework to do because all her kids were coming home after school homework to help with extracurriculars my gosh if they could even make it out there um and fi- and also spend time with her husband and by like eight o'clock which is literally only two hours she was done she's like I need time for myself I can't do this anymore and she'd have to go to sleep because she'd have to wake up at so early in the morning again so has anybody done a child care and you know the feeling right hashtag done that um that's how she was I was like, I cannot do that. Like I'm sitting on the park bench saying, there is no way. I don't even know how I'm going to feel after going through this. And there's no way I can be happy with other kids. I can do mine, but not other kids for 12 hours. So I said, those aren't options. I was praying to God for like, give me something else because I cannot do that with my kids. They need me now more than ever. And I was blessed, not with this third option, but with a memory. And it was back when I was doing co-op preschool. Has anybody done co-op preschool? It's like where you rotate homes. And you, uh, it's free preschool. And so (laughs) I had been looking for a preschool for my daughter who was four at the time to get her ready for kinder, make friends, et cetera. But all they had was daycares with preschool, you know, classes. So you'd sit, you, you could go only to preschool for two hours and sit at a table with worksheets. But I didn't want that for my daughter. I stayed home with her. I didn't need daycare or I didn't want her in a daycare setting. So this, the moms around the neighborhood were like, Hey, we have the same problem. Let's just do preschool together. So a couple of kids would come to my home, uh, that week and, uh, maybe three other kids. And I had like three at home. And so we do little, you know, circle time and songs and, you know, movement. And we do a couple flashcards and we do snacks and we go play outside. Um, and that was what we called preschool. I had no clue how to do it in this preschool setting. So I just had fun with the kids. Right. Um, and then after a week, they would rotate to other people's homes. I would get a couple minutes, a couple hours of break. It was great for me. But I noticed something. This is what the memory was. I noticed that over the weeks, they started calling me more often. Hey, Joy, my kid's sick. I'm sick. I'm going out of town. Can you um, teach preschool this week? And so they're starting to like not really teach preschool. And I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. And so I started teaching more and more. I loved it. And then this is where this got amazing because I said, I was, I was having this thought like, well, what if? They came to you, all of them came to you and never rotated homes. And because they didn't want to teach, they paid you a tuition. Like, oh my gosh, wait a second. 
I can actually make money with this. And I was trying to like do some quick math in my head. I'm like, well, what if I just charge like a hundred bucks per kid? Um, that'd be awesome. And then I started to do the math, 100, 200, 300. How many would I need for a full-time income? How would I even do that? I can't have 40 kids in my house, et cetera. And so I kept brainstorming. I was like sitting on the bench and I'm starting to feel more hope, right? And I'm looking at my kids and I'm like, okay, we might be able to do this. And I started thinking of all the reasons how daycare, because everybody said daycare, might be different than this preschool component. We're going to go there in just a second um, to explain the differences. But quickly, you know, the next morning uh, with these ideas in my head, I left with my kids that morning and, um, and then started off to start my preschool. I had 30 days to pay the mortgage. I had no access to the bank accounts because once we separated, all those bank accounts were exclusively for bills only. I had one credit card in my name with a, with no other person's name, just mine with a $2,000 available balance. And I maxed it out because I had no other option. You know, I put all the preschool um, marketing supplies, anything that had to do with preschool and starting this and creating income, I put it on that credit card. And I felt like as the day that I left, I felt like a fuse had been lit and I was running out of time. Do you ever feel like that? Like you are running out of time to solve this for real, right? To create that full-time income. There was no books on how to do this. There was no internet sites, how to do this. There was no YouTube videos, how to do this. Everything in the library, because there was not really internet back in 2008. Uh, everything, <laughs> not really. Um, everything was how to start a daycare. And so I had to figure out this part, but how does it work with my model? And how does this actually make sense? How do I actually enroll students? I've never taught preschool before. How the heck am I supposed to teach preschool? All those things. And finally, after 30 days, wasting tons of time, wasting tons of money, doing the wrong things in the wrong order, and honestly, just, just really struggling because I had no guidance on how to do this. I finally started my preschool in 30 days. I had 24 students. We'll teach you how that makes sense because I didn't have 24 at one time. And I made $2,400 in my very first month. And for that year, $2,400 a month. Now, back in 2008, that was a full-time income for me. Paid my mortgage, paid the um, insurance, food, all the things. But I still wasn't getting ahead, but that's okay. That story comes. Every year, uh, well, the first year I actually got remarried and we're celebrating 16 years this year. Uh, we had two more kids, so now we have five. Um, post in the comments if you have any children, how many kiddos do you have? And uh, then every year we grew the preschool. So we went from $2,400 a month to the next year making $4,000 a month to the next year making $4,800 a month to the next year making $9,600 a month. And it kept growing up all the way after 10 years to finally getting up to $30,000 a month. Now, that was with that was how Joy Anderson started developing and learning all these things. But I had no mentor to follow. All right. W made a lot of mistakes in my time. Almost honestly would have shut down my uh, my preschool would have like fallen apart many times because I really screwed up several times. Um, and I was just like, I don't even know how this is still being blessed. <laughs> every Every night we would just like, Please bless the preschool that it will continue. Please protect our income. But I feel, I feel that over those 10 years, God was blessing me with this opportunity because nobody else was teaching it. And I had something that needed to get out. So after the first year, I was like, this is working for me. Nobody else knows about this. I have to get this out because how I wished that when I was sitting on that park bench, some other mother would sit down next to me and I would share my concerns and she would say to me, Joy. Perhaps this third option is a better choice for you. Perhaps you should start a preschool. And I have taken that role on me since uh, 2009 when I finally started teaching others that I would teach and I would bring this into the world. So since 2009, and let me know when you kind of came into my world. Did you kind of come into my world just in the last two weeks, two months, two years, uh, 15 years ago? We have some people who came in 15 years ago. And I started sharing it, right? The blog couple YouTube videos, uh, created preschool in a box to teach everybody how. And over time, eventually, like in the last five years, we have really ramped it up with creating my book and with that Facebook ad, really getting out this to the world finally. So over the last, you know, 15 years, but really, especially the last five years, we've been able to help thousands of mothers and women come home to their families, create that consistent income, and most importantly, make a difference in kids' lives. So 
it's been amazing. And I didn't always start out that way. And that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. We're going to go through again, the model of how to start an online preschool um, or a kids club with students in less than an hour. Uh, so that's the plan. But first, we're going to get the basics of how online differs from local preschool, how it differs from daycare, all the things. And then you're, I'm literally going to show you live how to create this. And I'm going to try it in 30 minutes. Um, and then we're going to go into Q&A after that. Sound good? Okay, that's the plan. Let's dive in here and share the screen again. Sweet. Okay, we're ready. So number one, why a preschool versus a daycare? Let's go down into this concept, right? And then of course, any differences that are over here that um, don't have to do with local, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna clarify that with online, okay? So daycare, you're taking all ages zero through 12. With local preschool, we recommend three to five. Um, and you don't have to do the comparison, just kind of like, you can just like think about this, but I want you to put this in your category number one, like why a preschool might make sense for you. Um, just the biggest reasons why it's like, oh, this is important for me or even like, like I said, local online preschool. So, but with online preschool, you can extend it to ages two through eight. That's the really cool thing. You can have online preschool, but then you can extend it with kids clubs to ages two through eight. So you have a wider variety. Okay. I also want to point out really quick. It's not just for local people. Let me just share this real quick. Cause everybody gets this, um, you know, confusion in their head. They say joy, but, and I even got this message today, but joy, how can I start an online preschool in California? Okay. And I'm like, it doesn't matter where you start an online preschool. It is literally the same because you are, um, because you're starting, you can teach worldwide, right? You can, uh, teach anyone in the world. And what I love about this is it doesn't matter if you're in California or New York. And some people are like, but how much should I charge? Cause I'm in New York. Uh, -uh. we're talking worldwide here. We have all stars who teach worldwide. They live in different countries. Plus their students are in all different countries. Okay. Typically they speak English, but some of you are going to actually know a different language. We had a woman uh, email me earlier this week. She sp I, she's from Japan. I'm not sure if she speaks Japanese, but that would be an amazing niche to create her online preschool. We have another woman who speaks Arabic. And so she has an Arabic online preschool. She has hundreds of students in that preschool. Um, we also have many preschool all-stars who do a Spanish bilingual preschool, either teaching English to Spanish learner or to Spanish, Spanish speaking students. And they teach, and she teaches them English or those who speak English, she teaches them Spanish. So very cool. If you, if you speak another language, you got a really cool niche there. Okay. Let's get back to it. Okay. So now, um, Let's talk about uh, times. Now we're going to go kind of local and online. With daycare, you got 12 hour days, right? Six to six usually. But with um, local preschool, you're going to do two and a half hour classes. I'll explain what that looks like. Or with online preschool, it's just going to be 30 minutes. No online preschooler is going to sit for two and a half hours, just 30 minutes. Obviously, uh, diapers and daycare uh, in local preschool, they're potty trained. It doesn't, pardon me, it doesn't matter with online preschool. Um, in daycare, they're typically paid weekly. But in local and online preschool, they are paid monthly, which means you're paid monthly. Sorry. So therefore, you've got every, you know how much you're going to be making every single month, right? Um, here in daycare, they're only paid for, you're only paid for the days that they come. However, in local and online preschool, you are paid even if they don't come, right? Because they are reserving a spot in your program. So therefore, they pay even if they're on vacation or they're sick. Um, and really cool with online preschool, there's going to be a lot of pre-recorded videos that you can have access to. And therefore, with those, um, they can even enjoy those even when they're home or on vacation. Now, in daycare, they typically have 30-day contracts like, hey, if you're going to withdraw in 30 days, let us know in 30 days. Otherwise, you pay. We have 10-month contracts or two-month contracts for summer camp. And therefore, it's like, hey, if you're going to withdraw in this 10 months, you uh, need to pay the tuition, right? We do give them a 30-day notice, but regardless, they know that they're in for 10 months. Um, and typically they only leave if they move or, um, if the husband loses the job, et cetera. Um, also daycare, they are doing, you only get like four days paid holidays. I think of our amazing friend Molly and she was in her, um, you know, her all day program and she was so exhausted because she had no time for her family. She only got off like uh, what do you guys typically get off Thanksgiving day, Christmas day, maybe new year's day. And I don't know what the other one is, maybe 4th of July. But other than that, she was teaching every other day. 
But here in preschool, uh, local and online, you can get four weeks of paid holidays. We take one week out for Thanksgiving, two weeks out for, for Christmas, and one week out for spring break. break. Very similar to a school schedule. Um, over here with daycare, it's very important. Like This is where people get really confused uh, versus local and, and daycare, it, local preschool and daycare, is that with Daycare, you are serving working parents. Obviously, they need full time care. They're not going to want to go to your two and a half hour class and pick up their kid. They need, you know, 10 to 12 hours. But with local preschool, um, you're going to be typically serving stay at home moms or dads or part time working parents. So I'm going to go off share really quick here. And the reason for that is because, um, they, the moms or the dads, they want a little bit of free time, right? And they want someone else to educate their kiddo during that time. Uh, they appreciate a two and a half hour for local. With online, here's what's really interesting. You actually get all three components. You can market to stay-at-home moms, to part-time working parents, or to working parents. Let me add that third component of how online preschool can market to working parents. Think about those who work all day long and their kid goes to daycare, okay? Maybe they don't feel like their kid is getting as good of as a preschool education as they want to, right? I think we can all understand that. Um, but that's all they can afford or their kid's been there forever or whatever. And so they put their, keep their kid in daycare, but they love the idea of when their kid gets home, they're kid is able to not just go onto some screen, you know, so the mom can cook dinner or whatever, or whatever, get things ready. Um, not just some screen, some random, you know, bluey, or I don't know all the, the things right now, but or not the apps on the iPad, but instead have quality screen time with your pre-recorded classes or even a live class in the evening. Also Saturdays, Saturdays are a great day to have, um, you know, it's typically busy for working parents, but they would appreciate that extra quality screen time during that time. So you can see how you can also market to working parents. And again, you have um, the whole world to market to, which is amazing. Let's continue here. Um, and again, if you have any questions, post them in the chat and we're going to go through it. Okay. Now the question is, is should you do local or online? Okay. We're still going to like very, uh, go between both. Now local is great. If you're thinking of starting a local preschool in the next one to eight months, I say that because it does take a little bit of time to set up a local preschool, right? Um, it's not like tomorrow you can just start and get going with online preschool though. You can literally start tomorrow, which is pretty cool. Now over here with online, it's probably better if you aren't thinking of starting a local preschool in the next one to eight months. Like we really focus, we want to focus on just one program. If you're doing local, focus on local. If you're like, you know what? I don't know when that local is going to happen. Focus on online. Okay. Now local and you'll be able to teach two and a half hours, at least two days per week once you start. So this is like saying, Hey, I can dedicate a Tuesday, Thursday, from 9 to 11.30 every week. Like I can dedicate my time for that. I can do local preschool therefore, right? Um, that's assuming that you can do that. Let's keep doing local here. And you aren't moving in 2024 and you want to do local, most importantly, right? You're like, I actually want students to come and I want to teach them in person. Okay, back to online. So if you're not thinking of starting it in the next one to eight months or you're working a full-time job, or you're just incredibly busy and you don't want to quit your job in the next one to eight months, or you don't see your life's busyness changing in the next one to eight months. Make sense? So this is like an or, okay? It's like any of these qualify, or you're moving in 2024, right? Or you want to do online preschool, period, okay? Awesome. So here's what I want to do. Let's go back here. And again, number one, you wrote like, why is a preschool a good idea for you? So write that down in your box and then also share it in the chat. Why is a preschool good for you? And then number two, are you choosing online or local preschool? Okay. Just kind of jot it down. It doesn't mean it's set in stone, but just what are you pondering right now? Let us know in the chat as well, what you're thinking of doing. Let's go to number three location. Okay. Now with location, uh, wait, do we have pros and cons? Oh, we're still back on this local or online. Here's a couple pros and uh, pros. Okay. So let's go over this again. Beneficial things for local is it's a more steady stream of income. Once you start, you know, when you get your first six students in, when you get your first 10, your 12, your 24, et cetera, it is more steady. Okay. You don't have a lot of people in and out of your program. Um, another pro 
your local can grow to a higher income faster, right? It really can take on this word of mouth. Uh, people will know about you. Uh, people will refer to you and you can grow it pretty quickly. We have many uh, preschool all-stars who started out with seven students. I think of Anita Gerber, right? She started out with seven in uh, a January class. And then she grew her preschool the next year. I don't remember how many she had, probably 20 or 24, um, continued to grow it. And now she's bought a preschool building um, and has multiple teachers in there as well to teach classes. And she has over 100 students. You can also scale to multiple classrooms and or locations, just like I shared. And local can be very rewarding emotionally and socially. I'm just going to share really quick that when I was teaching preschool my very first year, I taught the very first two years. And then in year three, I hired a teacher because full time because I had a new baby. So I wanted to be with her um, all the time. Uh, but anyways, those first two years, I was the happiest I think I've been in my life. Uh, it is something else when you are in person with your students and you get to see them and see their eyes light up and know that you are just right there with them. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, now let's talk about some pros for online. It does take less time to teach each week where local could be two and a half hours per day or even five hours per day, depending on the classes you choose. Online is just 30 minutes a day, right? That's pretty cool. That's if you're teaching live classes. If you use our pre-recorded option, then you're not teaching at all. Okay. But of course it is a business. So we want to encourage you. You're going to have things you need to do for this business. It's not like you get students for free. It's not like you get students just automatically, you know, et cetera. Um, you do need to market. Um, it's also more flexible if you have a busy or uncertain schedule. Okay, way more flexible. And you can create income now while you build your local preschool later. So really cool pros on that. So again, just kind of jot down local or online. Now, let's go into this uh, other component. It's this one right here, number three, location. Okay, let's talk about online preschool is going to be super easy. Um, so let's start first with online. You really only need one of these, okay? We gave three options, but you only need one. Choose either a laptop, a Chromebook, Chromebook or a desktop computer, right? Um, post in the chat which you'll be using for online preschool, okay? You're going to use your laptop, your desktop, or your Chromebook. Um, if you're getting a Chromebook, uh, we recommend one that has eight gigs of memory, okay? That's just a little tip from our tech uh, guru. Um, you we do not suggest using only a iPad or a phone to start a business. Friends, we are building a business, okay? And we need the right tools. So you're just going to have to invest in one. Chromebook is probably the most affordable. Um, awesome. So if you only have an iPad or phone, let's get with the times and let's invest in ourselves and in our business. Okay, let's now go to uh, local preschool. With local, the wonderful thing is I've had a lot of people say to me, but Joy, my home is too small. Joy, I don't want to do it in my home. Um, so here's many, many options. I started literally on our kitchen table and living room. Okay, I've got many videos of our first online, first local preschool. We are literally sitting in my living room with, uh, there's no rug. It's just my couches because <laughs> I, you know, I couldn't afford much. It was like two couches and there's no rug. It is literally just floor and a kitchen table. And that's where we started. We'd have a circle time just sitting on the floor and I would bring in little poster boards from Dollar Tree, you know, stuff written on them, whatever. And, uh, your, your home doesn't need to look like preschool. I would set those underneath the couches. When I was done, I would put away the toys in the bedrooms. When I was done, nothing was on the walls that looked like preschool. Okay. Now that's how I started. And you can start that way too. Even if it's a small home or apartment or townhome, you can absolutely, um, start with a small class of students. Okay. If you're like, I don't know how I can envision 12 students in here. Don't envision four. Can you envision four students? Probably. Okay. Um, now, you, if you have a separate room, awesome. Some of you have a formal dining room. Um, I remember talking to Carrie Deshev, who I was like, you know what, girl? You have a formal, formal dining room that's making you no money. It's just sitting over there, almost always empty. Sell your formal dining room table, use that money, and use that separate room as your preschool. Okay, that's another option. Your basement, Anita Gerber started in her basement, okay? Also, Sherry started in her basement. A converted garage. When I had my uh, fourth kiddo, remember I said I hired a teacher that third preschool year, we converted our garage. So therefore, uh, all the preschoolers were in the garage. And then I had my teacher in the garage. And when I shut that door, preschool was out of my house. It was amazing. So we have many uh, who have converted their garage. And actually, I think it was Sherry who converted her garage. That's right. 
uh, church. You can also rent a church, which is amazing. We have a lot of preschool all-stars starting their preschools and churches because every church has empty rooms during the week. They are more than happy to take a little bit of money and allow you to use their space. They typically also have a big playground area, which is also a perk. Um, rented space. I do not recommend anything uh, as a rented space at this stage, but you can grow into it. Okay. When we went from 48 students in our local preschool, and that's all I could have in that converted garage. We had 48 extra registrations for the next year. So we had 96 registrations for the next year. I had to find us a place. That is when we rented our schoolhouse um, and started preschool in both locations at that point. But we do not recommend that you start out there. So you don't need a, a building. And then finally, outdoors. Uh, we've got many preschool all-stars who are doing an outdoor preschool or a forest preschool, a farm preschool. I love those, okay? I think of Jamie Leiter, whose entire program is built on uh, making sure that kiddos are outdoors as much as possible. Okay, so now post in the comments if you're doing local, where might you start your preschool? And of course, with online, we already discussed that. Okay, coming back here, we just talked about location. Just kind of jot down your idea there. Let's go now into schedule. This one is a little bit more complex, so we're going to take some time just to make sure you get it, okay? First, let's talk about um, the models, okay? The models of local preschool versus online preschool. Um, and actually, before we do that, let's just talk overview of, of schedule, okay? Because this is probably easier to talk about. Here we go with local. With local preschool... You can teach any of these four classes, right? You can teach a Tuesday, Thursday morning from 9 to 1130. We do recommend a two and a half hour class time, okay? You can also teach a Tuesday, Thursday, 12 to 230 class in the afternoon. Do not keep the morning kids and keep them after for afternoon class. That is more like a, you know, childcare or all day preschool. We do not recommend that. You're going to make more money with this program, okay? So Tuesday, Thursday morning or or both, right? Or just afternoon, whatever you want. So within when I was doing my local preschool, I did all four classes because I needed full-time uh, income, right? If you need part-time income, you can choose one, two, or three classes. Um, so then you can also do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 to 11, 30 a.m. and Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 12 to 2.30 p.m., okay? Now the concept, remember how I said I had 24 students enrolled in my local preschool? That means with my four classes, if we go 24 divided by four, we have six students in each class. So six students in Tuesday, Thursday morning, six in Tuesday, Thursday p.m., six Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning, six Monday, Wednesday, Friday p.m., okay? You figure out which one you might do. Post in the chat what you might do or if you're already running your preschool, what you're currently doing, okay? Um, and again, doesn't have to be perfect. The hours don't have to be the same. Maybe you're like, I want to do it a little bit earlier. I want to do it a little bit later. That's fine. Just kind of jot down the general idea, like uh, one, two, three, or four classes, or maybe a Tuesday, Thursday morning, et cetera. Okay. Just very general. Now let's go into online. This is a little bit different of a schedule. Okay. And maybe I could go, you know what? I'm going to actually show this over on our website because this is a lot easier way to show you with um, how this works. Okay, here we go. With our online preschool, um, I'm going to I'm going to compare online preschool equals preschool club. So anytime you hear me say preschool club, I want you to just think online preschool. The preschool club phrase is how you tell parents that this is what you're offering. Okay. It's like a, a cooler way to just say online preschool. Cause that has gotten kind of a, a negative connotation perhaps over the years of the pandemic and COVID where maybe their kiddo didn't like online preschool. Right. So we kind of take this preschool club component. Um, and what's really cool about it is you can also extend and you can change it into any name. You can call it a kid's club, uh, online kid's club. You can call it whatever you want. If you want to extend it to ages two to eight and create that kid's club. Now, what we've done is we've changed it into three models. And I'm going to go through those three models right now. We have just preschool club. Um, what do we call it? It is called preschool club. Sorry, one second. Um, on demand. Okay. We've got one that is preschool club on demand. That is just pre-recorded classes. Now you can make all your pre-recorded classes. That's cool. And you can give them to them or you can use our hub. Um, that's an additional membership. It's our software and it gives you 600 plus online preschool classes that are pre-recorded. Okay. Pretty cool. We'll talk about those later. Um, then you can, you're like, Okay, cool. I just want to do pre-recorded because maybe I'm building my business, but I want to get started right away. 
or I'm doing local, whatever. Now, if you want to add live classes on top of that, we call that preschool club live. Obviously that one's going to cost more, right? Because they get not only the pre-recorded, but they also get like a live 30 minute class um, Monday through Friday, but they don't have to attend Monday through Friday. So what I love for this is you can just choose a 30 minute schedule anytime during the week, during those days, you can choose like 12 to 1230 on Monday, three to 330 on Tuesday, nine to 930 on Wednesday, anytime that works with your schedule. So if you have a variable schedule, this is also great for you, or you can do the same every single day. It doesn't matter. But what I love about the second option, Preschool Club Live, is it allows you, allows the students to be like, I can go to preschool every day live with you. Um, that's pretty cool, right? Or the parent can be like, oh, I can go to these three days. Awesome, you know, but they're getting all five and they can choose what days they want to show up. Not a big deal. That one's going to cost more. Now the premium, this is called what we call Preschool Club Premium. This is where you guys are going to charge even more, Okay to be able to have the students not only get pre-recorded, not only get live, but now get the premium experience, which is a lot like local preschool. We're talking virtual field trips, assessments. We're talking parent-teacher conferences. Yes, online. We're talking, um, you know, interviews with the parents, like, or onboarding, um, you know, kind of like welcome calls when they first join. We're talking, send them a welcome kit um, with some fun materials. When they first join, maybe a t-shirt, you know, not every month. We're not sending them curriculum materials um, because that just gets a little bit pricey for you and we don't recommend it unless you really want to do it. Um, And really just gives that like, we are there for you. We're going to know exactly where your kid is um, academically, socially, emotionally, all the things. And we're going to help them get to the next level. Okay. That's really the biggest kinder prep that we can offer. So now that you see these three options, I'll show you what they look like as far as how much you can charge, et cetera. You can charge whatever you want. Um, but kind of ponder, do I want only pre-recorded right now as I build my business? Do I want to do also live classes or do I really want that premium money? And I'm just going to, oh, and the thing is you can just spend 15 minutes after each lesson with just the premium kiddos. So you would do your 30 minute live. And then for the next 15 minutes, just have those premium kiddos stay on, do some assessments, do some, uh, some extra learning in a certain category that they need, stuff like that. Um, and that's all. 45 minutes and you get that premium tuition. So let's now talk about um, what that would look like here. This is the website templates that come with the hub. Like I said, it's a different membership. Um, So here we've got the on-demand. We do recommend $14 a month. You cannot offer it lower than that because it includes our preschool club videos. Um, But these are the pre-recorded, okay? So at the minimum, you're going to be charging $14 a month. You can always charge more than that. Um, This is per student. Think of this as like the Netflix model, right? Where it's kind of a low cost. Parents don't really need to ponder it too much. They can get their kid on there. Um, And what I love about this is um, it's available for them to change their screen time into learning time. Okay, this is really like, I want my kiddo's screen time to be more educational, you know, uh, help them actually get ready for kinder. Now, if you want to do Preschool Club Live, now we're talking more like $39 a month, right? Because obviously now they get live classes with you. And then if we're talking preschool club premium, now we're talking $99 a month. And again, you can charge any any amount you want. You can also change the programs, right? Um, Because now they're going to be paid more to get that kinder prep, really, right? So now let's go back here to... um, these. Okay. So online, we talked about preschool club, only pre-recorded preschool club live is the 30 minute live zoom. Also, um, we do recommend zoom for your online classes. Preschool club premium is going to be also that 15 minute kinder prep afterwards. Okay. Um, now let's go back to the model because this is going to teach you how much, uh, you can make. Okay. For local or online. So you just figured out the schedule. So now what I want you to do in schedule is if you're doing online preschool, just post like, are you going to do live? I'm sorry. Are you going to do, um, on demand live or premium? Just kind of jot that down again. You can change it, but like, what are you leaning toward? Okay. Now let's talk about number five, the number of students and number six, the income you can make. So let's come down here to the model. What I love about this is we call it the model. That means that this has created the most success in our preschool all-stars. And it truly has been the one model that we can go back to and we build off of it. I want you to think about a subdivision. And I want you to think of all the different 
homes that you could create in that subdivision. Typically when it's got one builder, they're like, okay, you can have the dot, 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 like which model do you want? You know, this one is a single story with three bedrooms, two baths with this layout. This one is a double, uh, two story, you know, five bedrooms, uh, three baths, this layout, right? And you pick the layout you want. You pick the model you want. Now, what I love about this is now inside of that model and outside, you can make it your own change the carpet, change the counters, change the wall color, change the lighting, whatever it is, yes? On the outside, change all the colors, stucco, uh, I don't know, all the other things, right? Okay, so this, once we create the model, then you can make it own, your own, but we do not vary from the model, right? We vary it by new logo, a different logo, a different preschool name, a different, um, you know, your teaching style, uh, your curriculum. We do give you two years of curriculum for online and local inside preschool in a box, which you can get 50% off as a preschool all-star. We'll talk about that later. Um, but it's your, you know, it's like all about you. Okay. And what you can also bring to it, but the teaching model, the, the class times, the tuition rates, we do not recommend changing that. Now this is kind of maxed out. Okay. I'm going to teach, I'm going to show you this model that is pretty much maxed out for full-time preschool tuition. Um, of course, this is also the minimum amount that you're going to charge if you're like, cause these are my numbers because I lived in a small town when I created my preschool, it only had 20,000 people in it. And yet we were able to enroll 120 students students a year at the max, right? And I could have enrolled more, but we were out of space between our schoolhouse and my home. I could not enroll more. We were always looking for that third location, but it just never made sense um, in building wise. So um, the idea is, remember how I started with, and again, this is local, okay? Remember how I started with six students, yeah, per class. Um, that was great. I was a brand new teacher. I really didn't know the classroom concept of teaching preschool. I learned thankfully how to teach preschool. We also have all the training of how to teach preschool here. Um, six students. Then the next year I felt more confident. I enrolled 10. Okay. 10 students per class. The next year I had hired teachers and she felt very confident teaching 12. And that was the cap for our licensing. Okay. Every state has a different licensing amount where you can teach a certain number of students um, at one time or how many hours at one time and not be licensed. So in Idaho, I could teach up to six hours. I'm sorry. <laughs> in Idaho, I could teach up to six students at one time without being licensed. Every state has different numbers. Also in New York or Washington or Oregon, you can teach up to, I think New York is up to three hours. And then Washington and Oregon are up to three or four hours at a time without being licensed. And that's perfect for our model because we have two and a half hour classes. Then they go home. So it fits the model. Okay. Um, and then of course we have all the licensing guidelines in our training as well. So no need to worry about that. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, can we not keep changing, sharing the screen? Sorry, I keep bouncing in and out. Um, okay. So with the, with this model here, um, we have Tuesday, Thursday, 9 to 1130. You can see the class times here. I'm not going to go over them again. Now, this is when we were maxed out 12 students per class. Yes. And I only had one location at this time. So all I could do was 12 students, which was 48 students total. Now, let's really look now at the money that we could make. Okay. Actually, before we do that, let's let's pause for a second because um, I want you to think about, we'll go into money in a second. I want you to think about how much money, how many students you can have in your local class if you're doing local. Do you want to start with four because you have a very small home or apartment, or do you want to start with six or 10 or 12, eight, et cetera, okay? I don't recommend going over 12. Uh, coming down here to online preschool, you can have unlimited number of students. We kind of like to use this model because you're obviously going to have more students in that preschool club on demand. This is the one that's only like $14 a month. So you can have as many as you want. Uh, we just gave an example of 100 students, right? Um, so 100 students here. Now, whenever you add all three programs or two programs, you're not going to get as many in your upper cost programs, right? That's kind of makes sense. The ones who are going to pay more are going to be less than the ones who will pay less. And so maybe we'll have an additional 50 students here. Okay. So maybe a hundred paying 14, maybe 50, uh, another 50 paying 39. And then of course, we're going to have even less in that premium component. So here we're going to do, um, maybe 20 students, okay? An additional 20 students, because you can offer all three programs. That's what beautiful. Even if you only have, even if you're choosing premium, it's not like you only have to do premium, but you can if you want, all right? 
So that's kind of the general idea. Now write down in your um, number of students. Here we go. Number of students. How many you are thinking of? If it's uh, if it's uh, online, just write the word unlimited. Okay. You can have as many students online as you want. If it's local, write down the number you're thinking. Now let's go to the income you can make. Number six. Um, and let's go through these models because this is very helpful. So Again, this is like the least amount of tuition that you're going to charge because this was a small uh, city that I came from, and these are the tuition rates right now. But um, of course, if you're in any other area that's not a small little town, you're going to charge more. So let's look at this. If we were charging $150 a month per student for a Tuesday, Thursday morning class, okay, we're going to be making $1,800 a month for just that one class. That's pretty amazing. If we're going to be doing a second class, maybe an afternoon, we're going to make an extra $1,800 a month. We know that, right? So we'd be making $3,600 that month for the Tuesday, Thursday morning and afternoon classes. Let's say we want to do a three-day class. This is going to cost more for them. Obviously, they're coming a third day. So $225 a month per student per class. Now we've got $2,700. Maybe we're doing an afternoon, $2,700. If we're doing all four then we're going to be making about $9,000 per month. So what I'd love you to do at this point, you can just write down the number of students you're thinking of starting with times by 150 if you're thinking of doing a two-day program or times by 225 if you're thinking of doing a Monday, Wednesday, Friday program, okay? Um, and then you're going to start coming up with some numbers, okay? Or you can just use these numbers here if you're doing 12 students. So for local, go ahead and jot down... Um, and of course, you can do the math while I move on. Okay, you're only teaching 25 hours per week. You're teaching two and a half hours here, two and a half hours here, two and a half, two and a half, all together, 25 hours. That is not even a full-time job, yet you're making nine grand a month. That is a six-figure business working part-time. Okay, it's pretty phenomenal. Now, I'm not saying you're going to start out with this. Friends, we start out with one student. Yes. And this is what I just really want to iterate. I really want to get in here is that some of the people who join our program think, oh, this is such an easy business. I'm just going to jump in and put out a logo or a website and boom, I'm going to have students. Nope. I worked my butt off to get my 24 students. Our preschool all-stars work their butts off too. There is a season for everything. Now, I don't believe in a hustle season for life. Okay. I, I burned out too many times. I believe there is a hustle season though, when you need to start a business, okay? There is work to be done. But the beautiful thing is once that business is running, yes, then we can go into a bit of a restful season. I always loved October, November, because after I'd gotten the school running in August, September, I made sure it was a well old machine with all of our systems. In October, November, I was like, oh, this is easy. Like I am just, I'm rocking the preschool. Like this is amazing. And once you get into January, cool. You can go back into hustle, get some more students enrolled. Awesome. Okay. But there are definitely some seasons that are awesome with local preschool. Okay. Now, Ooh, don't minimize the zoom. Go back to share screen. Okay. So let's go back now to the idea of online preschool. And we talked about this a little bit right here. So let's just, you can just write these numbers down, right? A hundred times 14, that's going to be $1,400 a month. 50 times 39, that's 1950 a month. 20 times 99, that's 1980 a month. Now let's say you're like, you know what, Joy, I just want to offer one program. I just want to offer the premium. Maybe I'll get 20 students in there. That's two grand. Okay. I just want to offer preschool club on demand, Joy. 100 students, that's $1,400 a month. You're not even teaching because it's just pre recorded classes. Even if you had 50 students, and you made $700 a month, you are not even teaching, right? And you can spend your time during the week, the time that you are spending on your business, marketing to fill those 50 spots. Now, if you do all three and these are your numbers, then of course you're gonna be making over five grand a month, teaching only two and a half hours per week. You can see why online preschool can be so lucrative, right? I wanna introduce you um, after we do that. So we did income. I wanna introduce you to our girl, Valerie Renee. Now she is one of our superstars in preschool all-stars. Um, you will see a lot of preschool all-stars who have a lot of different varied income. Um, we show these like kind of extreme numbers to show you what's possible. Um, but I want to, and I was stopping sharing. Um, I wanna kind of show you though, there's a wide range and you can grow into any amount for your preschool. 
So you can not only start with, you know, 500 a month, you know, $1,000 a month, but it is unlimited cap. Just like where there is a job, there is a ceiling over your head. You cannot go to your boss and ask for an extra like $100 an hour, right? Um, no, but with preschool, it is exponential. You can have as many students as you are willing to, you know, uh, go find and enroll. So um, that what we, even though we have student or preschool officers who are making a lot of money, the general preschool officer on average is going to make between $2,000 to $4,000 a month. Okay. That's the general preschool all-star um, who has created their successful preschool. So now here's what's possible with online preschool. With online preschool, Valerie signed up over a thousand students over her time and she makes $39,000 a month in just online preschool. She cracked the code, absolutely. She did not stop. She made $480,000 in two years teaching online preschool, just with online preschool at home. But I want to share this very important part of her journey because lest you think that, oh, this is so easy, I can make 40 grand, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. It is a business and I will always tell you that we still have to treat it like a business. Now I want you to see her numbers. I want you to see that when she started online preschool, she only had eight students, okay? Eight students in her online preschool. Now you might think, ah, oh, eight students is not very much. My goodness, I it's gonna be so hard to create any kind of income or, you know, with eight students, my gosh, right? I'm making what, maybe 50 bucks a month or 500 bucks a month, you know, it's just, maybe I'm gonna quit. It's just not enough. I need more, okay? But she didn't quit. She kept marketing. She kept enrolling. And in the winter, she was up to 96 students, but she busted her butt, didn't she? This was her hustle season. Now, a unique thing happened in the springtime. She went into the spring where all of her students at that time, it was, uh, the pandemic was over. Uh, it was probably like 2020, 20, <laughs> 2022, um, 20, what is the year? 2022? Is that the, how we say that? I can't even remember. 2022. Um, all the students went back into school full-time, okay? So she was down to zero students. Now she could have said at that time, uh, well, you know, it was a fun ride. I did a year's worth of online preschool and I guess that's all I could do because now I have to start over from scratch and I don't know if it's worth it. How will I ever get these students back up to this number? Maybe I'll only have eight. She could have gone back into those limiting beliefs, right? We all have them. But she said, you know what? I believe this works. I'm going to get marketing again. She marketed, marketed. She got up to 138 students in summer alone before fall preschool even started. She did a summer camp. Okay. Then by fall, she had 200 students. By the winter, she had 250. And by the spring, when she was uh, uh, finishing her program, and it was like May or so, she had 357 students enrolled at that time. But guess what happens? Now she went back into summer where she, all these kiddos, you know, kind of were like, okay, that's all I want to do is this fall winter program. And now she's back with just one student. And in the summer of, I believe it was 2023, she really had to decide, am I really going to do this again? Because man, that was a, you know, that was a big deal. That was a lot of hustle there, but was it worth it? Man, she made $480,000. She's making, you know, um, not at that time, she wasn't making 39,000, but she was about to hit it. And so she said, you know what, I'm going to go again. And with all the new, you know, with all of her, our systems and things that in marketing that she's also been able to dis, uh, discover, she enrolled again and was up to 400 students in the fall. So you can see friends that this is not just like a one-stop shop, like get all your students in one time. It's a business that we grow over time, whether that's local or online. Okay. Awesome. So now let's continue with. Um, I believe at this point we're at our next step. What is your next step? And then of course, we're going to go into showing you how, um, to create your online preschool in literally less than an hour. And in fact, I'm going to shoot for 30 minutes. We're going to put a timer on. I'm going to see how fast we can do it. Then we're going to go into, um, again, talking more about preschool all-stars and what you can get as a bonus when you join preschool all-stars, um, tomorrow night. Okay. Because we are opening the doors tomorrow night to early birds. Okay. It's opening to the public on Monday night, but I want to give you a special bonus on Sunday night for joining. Okay. So let's get back to it.
Um, what is your next step? It is, oh, how do you get your startup cost paid? I'm sorry, we, we skipped that one. Let's go back. Okay, do, do, do. why can't I get out? There we go, startup, how do you get your startup cost paid? Now, there is a 30 day challenge, okay? So with online preschool, um, the average preschool officer is gonna make 1,000 to $3,000 a month. Um, the uh, local preschool is going to be making that 2000 to $4,000. But in your 30-day challenge, our goal is to help you make that first 1000 okay? Um, our goal is to help you sign up your very first seven students, right? During this 30-day challenge that you'll get for free. There are four strategies in here, in the 30-day challenge, where we help you enroll students and make money, yes? Uh, to be able to pay for your startup costs, to be able to invest in your preschool all-stars, your hub, your preschool in a box, everything you need to create a successful preschool. So that's how you're going to get your startup cost paid is inside of our 30-day challenge in preschool all-stars, okay? Now, um, as we do this, the next step obviously is to join preschool all-stars. We're going to talk more about that, but first I want to prove how you can create this online preschool quickly um, with less than an hour. So Let's put a timer on it. Actually, we'll do a timer in just a second. First thing I need, what we're going to do is I need you guys to put in the chat a name of an online preschool that you want me to create. We are literally starting from scratch, okay? Um, we're starting from scratch. So give me uh, a name in the chat here of, I, you want me to create an online preschool called what? Okay, just give me a random online preschool name that you think would be a fun one. Um, we'll ponder here. And okay, I love this. Let's go Happy Hands Preschool. Love that. Um, great names, great names. Let's go Happy Hands Preschool. You know what I love about this concept? Uh, thank you, Michelle, by the way, is because it is bringing in the concept of um, hands-on learning. So I love that for online preschool because a lot of people ask the question, how can I do online preschool? There's no hands-on learning. You teach uh, preschool classes exactly online as you would local, and you make sure to include those hands-on uh, components. And we do teach you... Um, in our curriculum, how to do that. Okay, happy hands, uh, online preschool. So start the clock, we are at 9.08. Someone someone, write it down, this is my time. Just write down the 08, okay? Put it, uh, write it down on your notebooks so we can remember. Let's dive in. The very first thing we're gonna do is create a logo, okay? In our training, you're gonna get this template and we're gonna create the logo, okay? Happy hands preschool, okay, there we go. Um, so right now we need to not have it be a butterfly, we needed to have a different, um, logo. So I'm going to go into elements. This is Canva, by the way. And we're going to just uh, look for hands. Okay. Um, we're going to look at graphics. And what we want is a colorful, obviously, um, but still kind of fun. We don't want to do something like that. You know, that's just not very fun. Um, happy hands is going to suggest very happy. I like the colorful idea. This is a good idea. I'm not sure if we can find maybe some different ideas. I don't like that one. Um, let's keep scrolling down here. And, you know, again, I don't want to find it perfect because we got to move on. Oh, now this is kind of fun. Happy Hands Preschool. But, oh, it's it's an animated. I don't like that. Um, oh, I really like this. Okay. Love that component where we're um, bringing diversity in. The only thing I don't like about it is if we put it here, all of these hands are kind of cut off. So I don't like that. Um, I might go back to that original one that we found. This is also very good if we're doing loving hands, but we're doing happy hands. This is kind of fun, but no, I think we're going to go back to the concept we had early. Now this is kind of, Ooh, oh, I like this. Uh, but again, the hands are cut off. Okay. Let's go back to our color graphic here. And of course I deleted it. So we'll have to find it again. Doo -doo -doo. Your logo is probably going to be one of the things that takes just a couple minutes, obviously, just like I'm showing you here, I'm trying to kind of show you, um, you know what? Here's this one, which might be fun. Ah, you know, what? we're just going to go with it. Not that one. Go back to it. Okay. So let's do this one and let's just move on. Okay, here we go. Now, the one thing I do want to do is I want to match the color of my um, logo to the, to the preschool name. Okay. And so with this, I need to get that color. So we teach you how to do that with a special little tool. I'm not going to worry about it. I just need to know what my main color is. My main color is going to be probably, um, I want to make sure it's not just girly. So probably I like this blue concept. I don't think I like red for it, um, but we're going to change that color to that blue. And you can see immediately how it just feels a little bit better. Okay, let's go ahead and download that now. We're going to go share and download. 
Perfect. Okay. Now that we have that, friends, now let's continue um, the next step. Okay. What we need to do now is set up our website. Now in the hub, which is a separate membership, you're going to get 50% off of your hub whenever you uh, join preschool all-stars. Okay. And so this is your hub. It's basically your all-in-one software that helps you create your website, collect uh, payments, registration forms, um, offer preschool club, pre-recorded classes, um, have a members area, do all of your conversations with your families, like your emails, your texting, your calls, et cetera, all in one place. Calendars, schedule tours, have all your data in one place, et cetera. But we're just gonna show you how to create a website and literally, can I do it in five minutes? Here we go. I'm gonna create a website in five minutes. Okay, first off, you get a template, okay? This one is, uh, you'll get the our template. It literally is this template. Let's go into it. It gives you all the pages, registration, checkout, uh, all those things, okay? But we're gonna go in just to the homepage right now and we're gonna go build this. So we're gonna click edit. And when we're building this here, uh, da, 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 here we go. Okay, I have a couple tabs open. Let me try to close out a couple tabs here. Okay, great. Now I'm going to change my logo. So I'm going to click on this logo. This is literally the template you're going to get. It is done for you. It's got all the words for you, for you. And we recommend you use this template. We have one for online. We have one for local. I'm going to upload this file, which is um, our logo. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to double click the logo and boom, there we go. Now, um, we're not gonna change anything except for a couple things. We're gonna scroll down, there are two videos. The bottom one is a Christian video. If you're doing Christian preschool, awesome, go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and um, hide this video. I don't wanna delete it, but I'm gonna hide it so I can mark those two things as hidden. Now, you don't need to worry about what I'm clicking on right now, guys. You just need to pay attention to how quick this can be done, okay? And how it's super simple. Okay, all these words are exactly the words that are going to convert students into your preschool club program for online preschool. Um, yes, it is featured on preschool.org. Preschool.org is our amazing uh, award-winning site as well. Um, so how does it work? All of these words, don't change them. Da-da-da-da-da. Uh, Okay, all of these don't change them. Now we have to change your picture. This is thankfully my picture, but you would just need to add your picture, okay? Miss what? What is your name? I'm gonna put Miss Joy, okay? Um, hi, I'm Miss Joy, and I'm the owner of Happy Hands Preschool. In addition to all the fantastic teachers in preschool club, I'll be your child's personal preschool teacher. So after you join, I'll stay in close contact to make sure we have a great experience. Now here's where you change these things. Insert two to three sentences about your education, experience, and background. Um, so for me personally, if I was just starting my preschool, I would have said, um, I have uh, three children and have loved teaching them preschool. Um I also have a degree in English and um, uh, at that point it was one year, one year of teaching preschool ex and one year of teaching experience. Okay. So what I love about this is remember I was doing co-op preschool guys, I can count that. Um, if you have done anything Sunday school, um, whatever, right? Any kind of teaching experience, even if you're in daycare, you are still teaching. So we don't put teaching preschool, we say teaching experience, okay? So anything you wanna say here, um, I love seeing um, my students' eyes light up when they learn new concepts, okay? Okay, now I get to teach your child online. I can't wait, keep going. We're not gonna change any of this. All of these are already built in, da 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 keep going. Oh, but these are faith-based. So we are going to just toggle them hidden because we're not doing a faith-based preschool in this model. Um, again, I'm just gonna toggle this one hidden so you can have a faith-based preschool and um, awesome. Keep going down here. We've got some testimonials. Um, we teach you how to change the testimonials in Canva. We actually give you this graphic. Um, but you know what's amazing? You don't have to change the testimonials because all of these testimonials are about Preschool Club. So we've already tested Preschool Club. We already know how amazing it is. And these women have already given their testimonials. So you literally can keep it as is. If you have extra testimonials, awesome. You can add them. 
Now, this is where we decide which program we're doing. Are we gonna do on demand, live or premium? All the information is there. We don't have to change it, amazing. So now what we're gonna do instead is I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna start only with a preschool club on demand. Maybe I just am not quite ready to add live or premium. So I'm going to hide these other twos. I simply click on the purple, I click advanced, and I hide this little two buttons down here and it disappears, but I can always add it back when I'm ready. Over here, I click the purple, I click advanced, I click visibility, these two little buttons down here, and now I only have Preschool Club on demand. Perfect, okay? But I want both of those back. So I'm gonna go into my layers, and don't worry again about what I'm clicking. Um, this one is called, let me see what the Preschool Club pricing. So I'm gonna go down here, find Preschool Club pricing, and I'm going to open it up and open this up, and I'm going to see that I need to add that back. Okay, do, do, do. Let's see, and show. But there we go. Okay, what we need to do is just add um, all these back really quick. Where did they go? Sorry, they disappeared. Okay, so we can just add every element and it's going to start showing everything. Bada bing, bada boom. We can hide certain elements, etc., which is very helpful if you ever want to change things. Okay. So let's say I want to actually do Preschool Club Premium. Yes. Okay, we we still got it going on. Perfect, there we go. And the button, awesome. Now again, if I wanted to add the premium, I just got to keep going here and adding. This is probably like just one of the more time consuming things, but it's so little as you can see um, to do this. Okay. Cause again, the whole website is already built for you. I just wanted to show you that just in case you accidentally hid something, it's still there. Okay. You can just find it again. And don't worry, we teach you exactly how to do this inside of all of our training. Okay. So there we go. We have it back. Great. Let's continue. Satisfaction guarantee. Um, right here, I need to change my, um, my email. So I'm going to say joy at, mybutterfliespreschool.com. Of course, I don't have the domain for Happy Hands Preschool right now, et cetera. So I would call it Joy at Happy Hands Preschool, okay? If I obviously had that domain. Domains, we teach you how to get, no big deal. Um, okay, continue down. I don't need to change any of these. These are just Q and A's, but I do need to change down here the copyright. Awesome, Happy Hands Preschool. And down here, contact us at Joy at happyhandspreschool.com. Friends, it's done. Now that was actually 11 minutes, okay? Because I um, had to like, you know, unhide and then unhide things. So I think you get the general idea though. Let's change um, the name of our preschool over here and make sure that um, when it shows up, that it actually has the right um, logo, et cetera. So we're gonna call it Happy Hands Preschool right here. Great, and then we scroll down. We're also gonna put the image because we want to make sure that if we ever use the link, it will show this. This is just called SEO metadata. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, I'm going to save it because I always like to click this little save button over here with a little yellow. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to click publish. Publish just means it is now being published to the internet. And again, we show you how to connect your domain first. And now check this out. When I refresh this screen, which is the domain that we were using, look at this, my friends. Here is Happy Hands Preschool. I'm going to scroll to the top. Happy Hands Preschool. We scroll all the way to the bottom. It's all there. It's literally live on the internet. Amazing. Okay, now we got that. Let's continue, okay? So now that we've got that, we did the logo. Um, Now, do you remember? Let me back off for one second. Okay, there's two components to this. Number one, we need to show you how to set up your online preschool. We just taught you that. Remember, we started at the 08. Right now, it's the 20. Our website is done. The second component I told you, though, is how do we get students? Because I promised you, not only will you start your online preschool, but now we need to get students in it, okay? With the students component, here's how we do it. We do it with one of our scripts in Preschool All-Stars called the 1K in One Day Challenge. It is a GoFundMe script to be able to get money into your preschool. And then with the money, you sponsor students to go to your preschool for free. Let me show you how this works, okay? I'm going to create a GoFundMe and we'll do it live together. Going to create the GoFundMe. Then I'm going to write a post on Facebook that says, hey, I'm starting an online preschool. 
if I could have your support, that'd be amazing. I would love to sponsor, which means to give for free, 10 students to be able to have preschool for free for a month. Will you help me? Everybody loves to support other businesses, plus especially supporting the children. They're not just giving you money for nothing, guys. You are literally teaching preschool to these free students with the money that you got from the GoFundMe account. Do you see how this is working? It's a beautiful thing. Once you have the money, okay, if you get $1,000, guess what happens? Then you put out a little post that says, guess what? I'm sponsoring 10 students for my preschool. And uh, get your name into this drawing so you can be one of the 10. Now you have the students, the 10 students that have already paid the tuition. They didn't really pay tuition, but you got the tuition, didn't you? You can use this money anyway because it's your tuition, but you're teaching for free the 10 or however many students do we see? Get, let me know in the comments. Get it if you are getting it, okay? Now this is, this is completely like no startup costs, friends, other than our programs, Preschool All-Stars, Hub, Preschool in a Box, okay? Let me know if you're getting this. You get it. Okay, great. So let, let's do it. We're, we're on a clock. I got, I said, I'm going to do this in less than 30 minutes. Okay, here we go. Next up, we need to create the GoFundMe. Yes, we talked about that. So let's go ahead. How much are we going to raise? I want to raise $1,500. Don't put any other amount. It's, it's, we've tested this. Put $1,500. Continue. Okay, da, 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 as it goes forward. Okay, we need to get a couple pictures. No worries. We know where to get the pictures. In our training, we can choose one of these pictures, okay? Um, this is one of the pictures we could use. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one, which is the online. It says online. So I'm just going to download this picture here. It's already made for me. Download. Great. Okay, that one's done. I'm also going to choose one more picture here that kind of matches my logo colors. I'm going to download that one too. I'll show you where those go. Don't worry about it. Okay, now we're going to upload the picture. So we're going to choose the picture that we just downloaded, which was uh, that one right there. Okay, perfect. It fits perfectly because you know we do that. We've created the graphics that fit perfectly for you. Okay, this is literally in our training. Awesome. It's good. Let's continue. Okay, this is like online preschool. Give your fundraiser a title. Well, let's go back to our training. This is the training, okay? Um, it's right here. And we need to give it a title. The title is going to be your preschool name class sponsorship. So we're going to copy and paste that here. It's going to be called Happy Hands Preschool class sponsorships. Great. Tell my story. Let's go back to our training. It says, tell your story, copy and paste your 1k in one day script from the Google doc. Here is the Google doc that we give you. It's literally ready for you. You just have to change a couple things. Here we go. I've embarked on a new adventure to bring affordable, developmentally appropriate, high quality preschool education to every home through our online preschool. Because now we're doing online. If you're doing local, don't worry. We have that. You just change it for local. I'm in the final stages of launching Happy Hands Preschool. Okay. I know the economy has hit everyone hard financially, emotionally, and physically. Kids especially have struggled academically, socially, and emotionally. With that in mind, I have set a goal for myself to sponsor 10 students because do you remember, uh, actually 15, if we get the full 15, uh, 1500, because with premium online preschool, we are, um, it costs a hundred dollars a month. Do you guys remember that with premium preschool costs a hundred dollars a month. So if I get $1,500, I can sponsor 15 students for one month. Are we getting that? Okay. If you're doing local preschool, you'll just do different numbers. Okay. For my program, who may be struggling financially, but would still like their children to have access to a high quality education and enroll in my program. My goal is $1,500, which would sponsor 15 students in our online preschool program. Your donation would help cover their registration fee, their tuition and supplies for one month. Please consider making a donation to help bring a high quality education to all. No amount is too small. If you are unable to donate at this time, a like, comment, and share on this fundraiser post goes a long way. We appreciate your support. So I am going to go ahead and copy this, okay? Because remember, I, it said copy the script. I copied the script and I pasted it. Now I click review. Okay, dun, 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 dun. it's going to give me a review page in just a second. Also, by the way, reading all of that took a little bit of time, but that's okay. Launch fundraiser. Yes, please. Okay. And we're going to get a link to our GoFundMe fundraiser. So one second while we get that link here. Da, 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 da. Okay. It's ready to share. Let's click skip. 
And now we want to find the link. Um, we can click share fundraiser up here. Here is the link. I'm gonna copy it, okay? This way people can go um, and donate. But first we have to paste that link right there. It said paste the link, okay. I'm gonna copy this one more time with the link now, okay? So now watch this, friends, watch this. Let's go back to our training. What does it tell us to do? It tell this is the training that you go through. It tells us to um, da, 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 go to our personal profile on Facebook, okay? We're gonna go to the personal profile on Facebook. We're gonna make a new post, it says. Uh, one second while I close these out here. Okay, this is my personal Facebook profile, not my business page. I'm gonna click on creating a new post. Are we following? Give me hashtag following or hashtag got it. I'm gonna paste the same thing that I just wrote in GoFundMe, but this time it's gonna include what? The GoFundMe link, okay? which means it automatically creates this beautiful graphic that is clickable. And I'm going to see what my training says next to do. Next, it says, um, da, 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 add, da, da, da. okay, we're gonna post the personal profile. Press enter. Okay, click the timestamp. Okay, great. That is correct, good. Now I'm gonna click next, okay? Bada bing, bada boom, I click post. Awesome. Now I have a Facebook post that guess what, friends, is not about like, oh, please help me with my preschool. Please help me uh, pay for my preschool. Please donate to the cause. No, this is helping to create sponsorships. So when someone donates to your program, they feel good about donating because they are um, not only just helping you out financially, but they know that they're actually sponsoring students. And so they know that like students are going to be able to come to your program for free. So they feel great about it. Okay. Next, what is our next step? Our training says to upload the new Facebook cover photo and use this. Um, here we go. Hold up. I got to copy this right here. Okay. It's saying um, copy this little words right here. So I'm copying the words. And then I'm just going to kind of open them up into a new uh, little place I can, you know, copy something here because then I need to get the link to my Facebook post. Now, it's very easy. I'll just show you how to get that. Once you write your post, um, check this out. You just click this little thing that's right here. It could be a timestamp. It could say just now, whatever. If you scroll down to your past post, it looks like a timestamp like that, okay? What you're going to do is you're just going to click it one time. Why do we click it? Because now we have a link to this post. OK, we 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 copy and paste that link. Can you do that? We can do that. OK, and then we're going to just paste this below. And I'm going to show you what this says in a second, but I'm going to copy this. OK, the training said change your cover photo. This right here, my friends, is my cover photo. So I'm going to edit it. I'm going to click edit the cover photo. I'm going to choose the cover photo. Do you remember how I said? Oh, sorry, I got a download or upload or something. Upload. Do you remember how I said that we we copied one other, we downloaded one other image, okay? It was this one. And we have all the images for you, okay? Here's how you can show your support. <gasps> cool, okay? We're going to save changes right here. Yes, I want to help sponsor a student, okay? Now, when I click this one time, here's what's really cool. I can click edit and I can paste this thing. Here's how you can show your support because it says click it, right? We want to help families who can't afford a quality preschool education. Can you help? Please donate to our preschool so we can sponsor 15 students in our upcoming program. To donate, click here, click done editing. Now, when they click this link, guess where it takes them? To your Facebook post. And where does that take them? It takes them to your GoFundMe account where they can what? Donate now. Are we getting it? Okay. So these are the steps to take. My friends, I am almost done. The last thing I need to do is to tag a bunch of people in. Uh, let's see where the tagging is. Here we go. This is just a copy paste thing that's very easy to do. And I'll show you how to tag people because we need to get some eyes on this post. We can't just put something on Facebook and hope Facebook shows it. Here's our post, remember? We're gonna come down here to the comments, all right? I'm gonna scooch up so you can get really close to it. Okay. We're going to paste this little comment that says, thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. Okay. And we're going to uh, come down here. We're going to start tagging some people, which means we click the at sign 
And then people's names are going to start popping up, but I want to find people's names. I know that Beth might like to support me. So I'm going to uh, start typing her name. There she is. And I click it. Then I'm going to add another person at, and I might think Bethany Johnson might support me. So I'm going to click her name and click her picture. And do you notice how they start going blue? Now these people are going to get notified. I might think that Natalie might like to support me. So I'm going to click her name. I might think that Sharice might like to support me. I'm going to click her name. Okay. Do you see where this is going? I might like to click um, anybody's name. Okay. I want you to get 50 names on there. It's not hard. You can, if I'm sure you have 50 friends. Okay. Now, some of you may be saying, oh no, Joy, I can't tag people. They're going to get upset. They don't want to donate. They don't want to spend money. What did we say? If you're unable to donate at this time, a like, comment, or share on the fundraiser post goes a long way. Remember that? I want to show you some examples of, let's see here, do, 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 if I have this in the thing, do, 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 where is it? I'm not sure if this will take us here. Okay. At the very bottom, I'm going to show you how much you can make with this post, okay? Um, and how quickly you can make it. So these are just some examples. We have so many, but these are just some examples. Alejandra made $1,700 in her first 24 hours of posting this post. Do you know how many students you could enroll? You could enroll 17 students right there with online preschool, okay? So you get your students plus you get money. Anita posted the script at 7.32. Wait, pause the time. Write down the time 32. Everyone write down the time 32. Because I started at the 08 and I finished at the 32 because right now I'm sharing testimonials, okay? So we finished it and I'll go back in a second, but let's share the last testimonials here. I just posted my script at 732 this morning. My son donated $55. Then another lady I know donated $1,000. I've already met my goal. Coming over here to Lauren. I posted my script yesterday. It's been a little over 24 hours and I've raised $1,000 out of my $1,500 goal. Denise. Posted the fundraiser on Tuesday. And in three days, she made $1,800. Miranda, holy moly, I just raised $490 in one hour. So do you see how this is working, friends? Pretty cool, huh? Now, because I am not doing uh, a preschool, I need to delete this, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to delete this real quick. So nobody's like, what the heck, Joy? Um, let's move that to the trash. Um, but you will create the post on yours. And I'm just going to change my cover photo again. Uh, that's not it. Cancel. Um, get back to normal C joy. One second here. Uh, choose cover photo. There we go. Okay. So do you see how simple this is in, uh, let's do the math. What was it? 32 minus eight. And you guys can do that in your head, but I'll do it here. 24 minutes in 24 minutes. I just showed you how to Set up your online website, create a GoFundMe page, uh, a link, and create that post, which will help you to get money to sponsor your very first students. Give me a hashtag mind blown if you're pretty excited about this. Can you see how you can do it in less than an hour? Okay. Or maybe one hour, because maybe you're a little bit newer to this. Okay. So this is how quickly you can move through things. Thank you, Lakitha. Yes, mind blown. Amazing. Uh, Mulkina, Rose, this is how fast you can go when you go through our training, okay? So um, now I had mentioned we're going to do Q&A in just a minute, but before we do that, let's talk about your next step, what to do next, okay? Uh, so let's go into sharing the screen one more time. What is your final next step? Here we go, friends. We're going to join Preschool All-Stars. It is our exclusive membership community that... Um, that has been closed for six months and it's reopening on Monday, April 15th to the public. However, we want you to get on the early bird wait list because sometimes we let early birds in early. And you remember how I told you that on Sunday night, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, everybody write down that time, Sunday night, tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, we are opening the doors to early birds and we will give you an epic early bird prize. I am not going to reveal the bonus right now, my friends, but you need to be here. This is only going to be for those who join Sunday night. And if you know me, you know that my bonuses are exceptional and you do not want to miss out on this opportunity. So, 
With Preschool All-Stars, you're going to get the support you need to start your preschool so you can stay home, create a consistent income, and make your dream of starting a preschool a reality without giving up on yourself. Okay, there's a very special video here. I want all of you to watch it. I won't play it right now because we're running out of time, but I do want you to watch this video. It's 14 minutes long, and it shows you exactly what is possible for you in Preschool All-Stars and all the support you're going to receive. Here is where you're going to join the early bird wait list. Just put in your email right below here, okay? And get on that early bird wait list. So I'm gonna put in the chat right now, I want everybody, if you haven't already, I want you to go to Preschool All-Stars, okay? I'm dropping the link in the chat, preschoolallstars.com and get on the early bird wait list, okay? Because you're the only ones who are gonna get that link tomorrow, Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Deal? Okay. Uh, next up. So if you want to stay home with your kids, but you don't know how to make enough money at home, you don't want to get a job or start a daycare, Preschool All-Stars is for you. You can read through all the words. Um, it's an amazing program. It's our caring, safe community that will help you turn your dream into a reality um, and finally start that preschool so you can stay home. Here's what I love about this. Darlene says, we have this community of passionate, driven ladies who strive to encourage one another, teach one another, learn from each other, and propel each other forward. This is what I want all ladies to have in their lives. Beth says, this dream is so worth it. My life has been changed so much. Now, um, is it right for you? It's right for you if you're in the idea phase, idea phase, or you're trying to start, run, and grow your preschool. If you're thinking of starting your preschool now or any time in the future, if you're a daycare owner, school teacher, educator, entrepreneur, homeschool mom, preschool teacher, stay-at-home mom, or a woman who loves children, and if you're excited to ask for help when needed and help your preschool all-stars when you can. But it's not for you if you like to complain. <laughs> Uh, it's not for you if you're a drama queen. It's not for you if you're if you aren't teachable, and it's not for you if you don't take action. So, is preschool all stars right for you? Post in the chat. Yes, if preschool all stars is right for you. Now we're going to help you on every step of your journey, from setting up your business, okay, with your online preschool wall or setting up your local classroom, to signing up your very first student, to filling your classes to teaching your very first day, to going on your first field trips. We even have virtual field trips for online preschool. For holding your first graduation, you can even do an online graduation as well. And becoming financially free. Uh, Blue makes $9,500 $9, a month with her in-home preschool. Taylor made over $30,000 last year teaching her online preschool just eight hours a week. She says, it's allowed me to be there a hundred percent for my family. Now here's everything you're going to get when you join preschool all-stars, you're going to get our caring, safe Facebook community, $4,997 value. So you can be surrounded by like-minded women who want to stay home and pursue their dreams of starting and running a preschool. There is a drama free group with 600 plus women, just like you who love children, education, and teaching. You're also going to get our support count coaching and accountability. $2,997 value so you can get answers to your questions fast without getting stuck. You're going to love our 24-7 support in our Facebook group, collaborating with your sisters and holding each other accountable and weekly coaching from our team. Uh, you're also going to get our friendship and sisterhood. It's priceless. So you can be surrounded by women who will cheer you on in the good times and lift you up when you're struggling. We encourage and share with each other. You'll never be alone again because we're one big family. We'll help you gain confidence and believe in yourself so you can become the best version of yourself. And you're going to get these epic bonuses as a preschool all-star. First off, you're going to get 50% off your preschool in a box. That's right. Preschool in a box is the one thing that every successful preschool all-star has. Okay. It's the one thing that creates the actual preschool. So you can create a successful preschool quickly with our step-by-step -step training and our done for you resources. It's a thousand dollar savings. It includes our six stage preschool system training. That, it, that teaches you exactly how to set up your business, plus two years of curriculum, plus all the best marketing campaigns uh, to sign up your students. They are literally done for you. Done for you forms and handbooks. You get not only a physical box, literally the one behind me, but also easy digital access, okay? You are also going to get 50% off the hub. 
That is a $1,200 a year savings. So you can set up your website, sign up students and manage your business all in one place. Do you remember how we talked about the preschool club pre-recorded videos? Those are only in the hub. My friends, there are 600 pre-recorded videos. I'm going to show you a quick video right now of what you can look forward to with those videos, kind of how preschool club runs. But um, really when your preschool, when your, when your people come to your website, how they're going to understand what your program is and how amazing these pre-recorded classes are that you have access to. Just post in the chat if you can hear this video and we'll go ahead and play it. It's only about a minute or two long. to be able to have uh, your priests or your preschool parents have access to that. So again, you're going to get in your first 30 days of joining preschool all-stars, you can get the 50% off preschool in a box and the 50% off hub. Now, my friends, you need all three of these to be successful. You need preschool all-stars for the support. You need preschool in a box for all your training to actually know how to start run and grow your preschool. And you need the hub to run your preschool. Okay. Um, and so you saw in there, not only do we have preschool classes that are pre-recorded, and of course you can add your own classes as well. We also have a ton of classes in there that will support any ages from two to eight. Okay. So you can choose which classes your preschool parents get access to. That's a great way to do an online kid club. You're also going to get our 30 day challenge. Uh, so you can sample stage one and stage two of preschool in a box. Remember preschool in a box you have to have. Well, guess what friends, you get a sample stage one and two inside our 30 day challenge. So you know exactly how amazing it is. And we'll help you set up your business with your, with our help. Here's everything you're going to accomplish in just 30 days, plus more. You're going to decide if an online or local preschool is the best one for you, and you're going to move forward with that. You're going to register your business. You're going to get your DBA, EIN, LLC, your bank account. You're going to get your license, your insurance, HOA, and city approval, only if needed, of course. You're going to set up your social media, your online presence. You're going to get reviews. You're going to choose your class times and tuition rates and so much more. You're going to have it locked in, ready to sign up students. And of course, you're going to get our exclusive IT preschool t-shirt okay 
Um, and then finally, the first 100 women to join Preschool All-Stars. This doesn't mean on Sunday, but you're also going to get this bonus. It's just the first 100, period. So, of course, guess what, friends? We have a lot of preschool, a lot of women on that early bird wait list, which means these first 100 women spots may be gone on Sunday. They might still be there Monday, but I'm not guaranteeing everything. You want to get this first 100 bonus of the 1K in one day training? This is the exact training that we did that I just showed you how to do the GoFundMe to get sponsorships and enroll students in your program. This is only available for the first 100 women to join Preschool All-Stars. And finally, my friends, you will also, of course, get a very special Sunday only bonus. And that one will be shown on Sunday exactly what you get. But trust me, it is an epic bonus. You do not want to miss it. So stay tuned. It's tomorrow. Make sure you get that bonus tomorrow by joining Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern. I will send an email to only those who are on the early bird wait list. Go to preschoolallstars.com to make sure that you're on that wait list. So here's everything you're going to get when you join Preschool All Stars. Our Caring Safe Facebook community of $4,997 value, the support, coaching, and accountability at $2,997 value. Friendship and sisterhood is priceless. The bonus 50% off preschool in a box, which is $1,000 savings. Bonus of 50% off hub, a $1,200 a year savings. The 30 day challenge, $497 value. The exclusive t shirt, a $47 value. And the 1K in one day training, a $1,000 value. Friends, the total value is over $11,000. Yours today, just $67 a month or $670 a year. You're going to save $134 and get two months free when you go annual. Okay, now again, the doors are going to open Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern to our early bird wait list. Um, and we can't wait for you to join so you can get all the epic bonuses plus one Sunday only bonus that will only be re revealed on Sunday. Now, friends that you know all about that, let me drop the link one more time to join Preschool All-Stars early bird list. It's not, you can't even join it yet. Um, actually join Preschool All-Stars, but you can get on that early bird list, okay? Now what I'd like to do um, is answer any questions you have. So post in the chat any last questions you have. Renee asked a great question. How long will Preschool All-Stars stay open? It will stay open until Thursday night at midnight, okay? But you want to jump in early so you can get all those epic bonuses. Everybody post your question in the chat so I can answer every single one. One question I forgot to answer. Um, oh, shoot. What was it? I literally just remembered. Oh, about licensing. Online preschool requires no licensing, okay? So very important to remember online preschool, no licensing, um, which is awesome, okay? Because there's no governing body over the internet, okay? So no requirements, no degrees, experience, licensing, et cetera. And then of course, with local preschool, um, you don't need a degree experience or a license at the beginning because we can teach you how to start your preschool uh, without a license, because every state has a certain number of students or hours you can teach at one time without being licensed. Of course, if you want to go beyond that, you can always get licensed. It's very easy. I want you to think of any home daycare that you've ever seen. They got licensed. And guess what? If they can do it, you can do it. We have thousands of women we've helped to get licensed. Not a big deal. Um, and most states do, like literally most states, probably 95% of states do not require a um, degree or experience either. Okay. Remember, I did not have a degree in preschool or education or L ed or special ed or anything. And yet I was able to get my license and I didn't have any experience teaching in the classroom. Okay. And yet I was able to get licensed. So you can too. All right. Mercedes asks. So everybody keep those chat questions going. I'm going to get to them. So keep them coming. Mercedes asks, what would make a parent want to enroll in our online on demand pre K over free Miss Rachel on YouTube? That's a great question. Well, here's the deal. Miss Rachel, I do think predominantly ages down. Okay. She's definitely into the babies, the toddlers, um, that age group up to about three. I know that she probably has some preschool components, but she definitely has a heavy component on the toddler age um, and things like that. But why Miss Rachel for free? I'll tell you so many reasons. Number one, um, you don't know what's going to come up next. Number two, you can't guarantee you don't have ads unless guess what? You pay ad free. Okay. Um, number three, how easy is it to keep those videos just on for hours? Okay versus these are actual dedicated preschool teachers that are teaching hands-on curriculum. 
So the way that they're going to want to do this is it is like a premium educational experience for their child in all sorts of categories. We have science activities. We have math. We have literacy. We have reading. We got story time. Um, we have like all the different preschool components, right? And they're very engaging, okay? And so um, it's really just that premium experience, okay? Erica, can you share your very first local preschool all those years ago that was in your home? Erica, clarify what you mean. Can I share my very first local preschool? What do you mean by that? Hi, Joy Toya. You're considering your HOA. What if they say no? Great question. With HOAs, the majority of HOAs will say yes, okay? Because if you think about your subdivision, they will allow home daycares. You fall under the daycare umbrella in your state, which means you fall under the daycare licensing requirements, even though you're not going to operate like a daycare by having full hours of 12 hour days or take infants or before after care, you still have to operate under those licensing requirements. So whatever your HOA has allowed in your subdivision before, if they've allowed home daycares, you can say, guess what? You've allowed a home daycare. I fall under those requirements. Just because I'm only teaching classes to three to fives for a couple hours every day, I fall under the same requirements and therefore should be approved. The majority of HOAs say absolutely. And also the benefit to an HOA is they now have a high quality preschool program in their local subdivision. In our subdivision where I started my preschool, they loved the idea of having, you know, so many mothers be able to come to this one preschool in the subdivision. It actually ups the, like, what do you call it? The value of the subdivision, okay? All right, Desiree, uh, let's see here. Oh, good question, Desiree. What are the prices? Let me just kind of clarify that really quick, and you guys can jot these down, okay? The only thing available for you to join tomorrow night and also Monday is Preschool All-Stars. That is your only path forward. I want you to think of preschool all-stars like Disneyland, okay? Um, when you go to Disney, you have to pay that entrance fee, right? To be able to get into Disneyland. Once you're there, there's all sorts of goodness, yes? And so preschool all-stars is all of our support. It's our private Facebook group. It's our weekly team meetings that you can get support on. Um, it's that 30-day challenge and the 50% off bonuses, right? So it's really this amazing place inside Preschool All-Stars where all the cool kids want to be to and are running their preschool programs or starting their preschool programs. Um, now, inside of Disneyland, what are there? There's the lightning lane passes that you can get, right? They cost a little bit of money. That's like Preschool in a Box and Hub. Preschool in a Box is going to help you get that preschool up and running quick because it tells you exactly what to do, when to do it, how to do it, literally step-by-step. Step. It gives you all the done-for-you resources, like two years of curriculum, um, all the forms and handbooks, and all the marketing. Our marketing is only available in Preschool in a Box because it is so crucial that you have access to it. All the campaigns, the templates, et cetera. So Preschool All-Stars, is $67 a month or $670 a year. So you can jot that one down. That's the only thing you need to make sure you jump into tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Sunday to get in as an early bird and get that epic early bird price or bonus. Then once you're inside, you have 30 days to get your preschool in a box half off and your hub half off. Preschool in a box is one thing. So when it's paid off, it's done. It is not a membership, okay? It is this amazing program right here. You not only get a box, you get all the digital goodies, obviously, right? Because you need the forms and templates, yeah? And Preschool in a Box is typically $19.97. But during your first 30 days as an all-star, you get it half off. So here are the payment plans. We love to help you out to make sure that you can get it because it is so crucial that you have access to it. So here's the payment plans. One payment of $10.16.95. One payment of $10.16.95, then it's paid off. Awesome. Or two payments of $5.25 a month. Okay, two payments of $5.25 a month. Or three payments of $3.75 a month. Three payments of $3.75 a month. Or six payments of $200 a month. Okay, so whatever fits your budget, we have a program for you. Okay, that's Preschool in a Box. You also get that 50% off Hub. Now, Hub is that all-in-one software that runs your website. Like you get all the templates, you get the exact step-by-step -step training because none of us are techie. So we want to make, we assume you're not techie either. So we make sure to give you literally the step-by-step -step training with videos and click, click here, click that. 
and all the wording is done for you. Um, so we give you the, the website, you help you set it up. You saw how quick it was. Uh, we also give you, uh, you can do all your registration forms, your payments, um, all your communication with your parents, emails, texting, calls. Uh, you can also have your members area with your preschool club. All the 600 plus pre-recorded classes are exclusively in the hub. Now you're going to get that 50% off. So typically it's $197 a month, but you're going to get it for just $97 a month for as long as you're a hub member, okay? So you get a lock in that price of just $97 a month. That is a different membership than Preschool All-Stars, right? Preschool All-Stars, 67 a month, hub, $97 a month. But trust me, you want both because you get all your support over here in Preschool All-Stars, okay? Good question. So once Preschool in a Box is paid off, there's no additional payments, okay? Uh, Kalicia, and of course, Preschool All-Stars and Hub, you can cancel anytime, obviously. Uh, let's see here. I love this. Kalicia says, I'm going to do online until I get a fence. Some people ask, do we need a fence? If you're doing local preschool and you're going outside, make sure you have a six-foot fence in the area they're going to play. If you don't have that, then don't go outside, okay? Uh, let's see here. Jasmine, could the 1K in one day be used for a summer camp? Yeah, good question. Any resources for an online summer camp? Is it markable to start one online? Yeah, we have all of our preschool all-stars because not only do they do a 10-month program with preschool, but of course we do a two-month summer camp as well. And that's actually a perfect way for you guys to get started right now is offering a June 1st or whatever the first Monday is um, summer camp. And it's a two-month program. So you would say, hey, I'm creating a new online preschool summer camp or an online summer camp for ages three to eight. We do recommend three to eight for summer camp, whether it's local or online, because that gives you a few more older ages for it. Um, we, all the resources, marketing, how to do it, it's all in preschool in a box and um, easy to market one online. Absolutely. And this is a perfect time to get started with it. Of course, this is also a perfect time to start your local preschool, whether that's summer camp or fall, online preschool, summer camp or fall. Hi, May. Is preschool all-star still for me if I desire to open a preschool under my church with my pastors as the owners? They already registered the name, but we're so small, we don't have one yet. Would it be wise to start online first and then move my local in my home under the ministry? We have a home church. 100%. We have preschool all-stars who have created their preschools in churches, okay? Many of them. And we have the exact training on how to do that, um, how it's going to look, et cetera. You want to follow our business training. Absolutely. That's inside preschool in a box because you need to set it up correctly so preschool parents will enroll. You need the marketing to get the preschool parents to enroll, et cetera. So yes, perfect. You're talking about should you do online first? It's really up to you. If you want to keep all eyes focused on local, just set that up, make sure it's running for summer or fall, do that, okay? Maybe not get distracted with online. Uh, it's really whatever you'd like to do. Okay, let's see here. Um, oh, Angelica, that's so great. It's been brought up so many times, women. Why only say women and not people? Are men not allowed? I support women. Um, I remember back on that bench and I want to support every woman who wants to come home, create that income and be with her family um, and make a difference in children's lives. So 100%, I absolutely uh, support women in this program. I am sure there's other uh, daycare solutions for men who want to do that, but it's just not something that we do. Uh, Kalicia, is there an age limit? Like can a 16 year old teach online? I don't see why not because again, there is no licensing requirement. Of course, you're gonna wanna make sure that 16 year old, you know, um, knows some like how to teach online preschool. Of course, we've got all the curriculum, how to do that and the lesson plans done for you inside preschool in a box, um, things like that. So yeah, uh, Janavette, someone asked this earlier. Are there ways to edit the changes, colors, fonts on the website templates from the hub? Yeah, um, it's so easy to edit. In fact, let me just quickly go show you how to edit your program here. So here we are on uh, Preschool Club. Let's say I want a different color here for our background of blue. Actually, I like blue, and but let's change purple because like my logo is blue. Let's change this. It's right here. It's called background color, okay? And you can change any of these elements. So I'm gonna click background color. 
And um, where did that go? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna click background color and there's my colors. I can even add custom colors. Remember I was showing you how you can get custom colors and don't worry, it's in our training. Um, but let's see what might be a better color for me. I might like a light blue um, or even a light teal. I kind of like that one, but I would just change the colors of the text to be black so it's easier to read. Um, etc. Okay, you can change everything. And the easy way to change text colors is down here. You can change your text colors. So that all of a sudden becomes um, black, etc. Okay, ah, click off of it. Okay, and black. Okay, so there we go. Super easy. Um, you can change everything. You can add sections, you can add elements, you can add um, these are the videos specifically about uh, each class. You can add videos like, let me just show you all. It's literally a website editor. Headlines, subheadlines, paragraphs, bullets, uh, buttons, blog posts, navigation, images, videos, FAQs, um, surveys, calendars, uh, reviews, countdowns, timers. Um, it's, it's a website editor, okay? It's the premier website editor. Social icons, order forms, okay? It's all there. The cool thing is <laughs> you're like, but I don't know how to do any of that cool thing is it's already built for you. So, if, and I'm just going to show you this one last thing here. Um, all your registration forms and payment forms are already done for you. So if I just go into one, give me one sec while I close out some of these things here. One tip about the hub, close out your tabs. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, I'll come back to that in just one second. Um, great. So uh, everything is editable. Create from scratch edit, uh, modify it however you want to do it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, good. I'm going back to the questions. Okay. Online schedule. What days do you teach? Okay. $14 a month. That's pre-recorded only. So you don't teach live $39 a month. That's the, and by the way, this is money you get. We don't get any of it. This is your business, okay? That's the great thing about our program is you're literally creating your own business. This is not a franchise. This is not like we keep a portion of it. It is your business. You keep 100% of profits. Um, the $39 a month, like preschool club live component, we recommend that you um, go live once a day for 30 minutes, okay? If people don't show up in the first five minutes, you can bounce out, right? Um, and that's the same for the 99 a month. We just recommend that same 30 minute class time, but add an extra 15 minutes for your premium students. Kimberly, after you've done your GoFundMe, do you just offer a month free preschool to the first 15 that sign up? Yes, you're going to do a drawing because you're likely going to get more than 15 interested in it. You do a drawing, you pick the first 15, and then guess what happens after that first month? They're going to love it so much. They're going to sign up for your program. Okay. Bethany, can you do online but take off for the summer? Yes. In fact, Valerie Renee, uh, you know, is pausing her online preschool right now so that she can enjoy her family for a bit. Absolutely. Angela, can you share your preschool wall? I don't have an online preschool wall, but the good thing is in Preschool in a Box, we show you a bunch of examples of everyone's local classrooms and online preschools. Uh, let's see here. Oh, good question, Angelica. She says, it sounds like, other teachers are teaching with preschool club pre-recorded videos. Can you explain, are we teaching too? Okay, we give you in the hub 600 plus pre-recorded videos from other amazing teachers, okay? There are preschool all-stars who have, we've licensed their videos. Also, so you can just start with that or you can add your own pre-recorded videos. You can create your own courses in your members area. You can do anything you like. You can choose not to offer those videos and choose only your things, okay? It is your business and you can choose to choose, uh, uh, <laughs> you can choose to offer whatever you like. Uh, let's see here. Celeste, good question. If you teach morning classes, can they be repeated for an afternoon class? Absolutely. So we actually teach you if you got morning kiddos, the, there's different kiddos coming in an afternoon. So guess what? You teach lesson A here. You repeat lesson A here. Morning, afternoon. You repeat it. That's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So Monday, you're going to teach lesson A in the morning, teach lesson A in the afternoon. Now get this. Tuesday, different kids, different kids. Again, because you got six, six different kids over here. When, Tuesday, teach lesson A, teach lesson A. So you're teaching lesson A four times. <gasps> oh, are you getting it? Okay. It cuts down your prep time. It's amazing. They're different kids. It's amazing. Okay. Wednesday, you're going to teach lesson B, lesson B in the morning, afternoon. Thursday, you teach lesson B, lesson B. Are we getting it? Finally, on Friday, 
because they have an extra day. You're teaching lesson C, lesson C. Not a big deal that the two-day kids didn't get lesson C. It's fine, okay? <laughs> Some kids are going to come, you know, only two days a week. It's totally fine. It's, you know, if somebody came five days a week, obviously they're going to get even more education, right? All right, next up. If someone's HOA is saying no, no worries. There's some great uh, things that you can uh, help them understand how the parking is going to go, um, how your classes are going to go, the number of students you're going to have there, why it's a benefit, why um, if home daycares are allowed, why you absolutely are allowed as well. Things like that. Now, for some reason, your HOA still doesn't allow it. No worries. You can do online preschool. You can start your local in a church. Many all-stars have started in a church. Okay. Awesome. Uh, next up. Val, how well do these websites do as far as SEO and Google and clients finding you if they do a search for a certain state and preschool? Since it's a more general website without the mention of state you live in, if you're doing online preschool, uh, we'd have to make some changes to the text. Okay. So the cool thing about online preschool is you can niche down. Okay. You can be an art online preschool. You can be a STEM online preschool. You can be a forest farm online preschool. You can be outdoor online preschool, whatever. Valerie did outdoor online preschool. So you can really niche down for people who are searching terms like that. Um, but also here's a perk. Let me just uh, show you really quickly and let me open it up. Okay. So we own preschool.org. Okay. So the beautiful thing about this, give me one second while I open this up. So three years ago, we created this phenomenal website called preschool.org. And inside of preschool.org, sorry, give me one second, wrong link. Let's try this one. With, um, with preschool.org, we have all of these phenomenal resources. Yes, but here's the kicker. We did this so it would be Google and SEO friendly. So this site would rank to the top when people were looking for preschool programs. Now here's the kicker. We have two websites, one for online preschool, one for local preschool. When you use the hub for your website, we add your link to your website on preschool.org. Okay. Online preschool, local preschool. So if somebody is searching your name, guess what's going to happen? They are getting our SEO boost. So I'm not going to go into details, but let me, let me clarify this. When Google started, how do they prioritize websites? They prioritize websites with the professional, with the um, the most accurate, with the, um, like, so they're going to give the government sites first. They're going to give the sites that have been around forever, right? They're going to give the sites with the most information, the most helpful. They're going to hit the top of the, the internet, right? That's what we do for preschool.org. So we've already built all this Google uh, SEO and things like this for years with all of these resources, a gazillion that they're ranking consistently at the top. So therefore, when we stick your link on our website, it gives you all that SEO juice as well, okay? Um, I remember Kristen Lucas-Smith, she created a bilingual online preschool and her site pulls up to the top of, of Google every single time. That's how she got the majority of her traffic uh, and, and enrollments. And so the other cool thing is we built your website template with all the keywords built in, with the SEO metadata, all of that is already built in for you, okay? So it's already got like a, a chunk of amazing goodness there. Uh, doo -doo, next questions. What time does Preschool All-Stars open on Sunday for early birds? 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Pacific. All right, good questions. Uh, Yolanda, if you haven't received your book yet, no worries. It is coming to you. It takes about seven to 10 business days to get in your hand. If you still don't have it by then email team at preschool system.com. So you can get, uh, make sure we'll track it and get it in your hands. Uh, next up that's correct. Angelica. Yes. Uh, what you asked in the question, um, Odelia, good question. Do we need $170 tomorrow? The only thing you need tomorrow is $67 a month or $670 a year uh, to get those two months free. Join Preschool All-Stars. That's all you need to figure out. Just figure that out. We help you in that 30-day window 
to get your 50% off hub, 50% off preschool box. You get the 30 day challenge. We're giving you four strategies to make money quickly, right? With the one K and one day script, the founding family script, we've got all these different strategies to help you make money to get your hub and get your preschool in a box. And you have 30 days to get those. Of course you can join, you can get all three tomorrow. Um, but the very first only thing you need to get is preschool all-stars. Okay. Angela asked, can she use her own curriculum? Absolutely. Wow. We have 45 new messages. <laughs> it might take me a minute to get these questions, but I'm going to go fast. Okay. Yes. We have our own curriculum for local and online preschool. You can use it. You can add to it. You can use your own, whatever you like. Uh, let's see here. You get the preschool in a box, Renee, after your first payment. If you're doing payment plans after your first payment, we ship it out to you. And it's immediately available if digitally as well. Yes, Sarah, it's 100% possible in any state, in any uh, country. Um, you can cancel at any time uh, with Preschool All-Stars or Hub. Let's see, Celeste, 9 to 11.30 a.m. or 12 to 2.30 in the afternoon for local preschool. <laughs> Mercedes, nope, you get it immediately. Once you pay your first payment of Preschool to Box, it's immediately available to you. Yep. Uh, let's see here. A uh, real quick question on the payment plan for Preschool in a Box. That is available if you scroll down to preschoolallstars.com. Scroll down through the site. It will say 50% off Preschool in a Box, and it will give you the payment plan there. Also, it will explain Hub and all the things, okay? Uh, let's see here. Mercedes, can you access the Hub without being a Preschool All-Star? Yes, but it's $197 a month. So if you do the math... $197 a month is more expensive than $67 a month for Preschool All-Stars where you get all the support, $97 a month for the hub where you get all the hub. So it is a better deal to get both. Uh, Mokina, if we create videos, do we have to share? Do we own the, oh, who owns the content? You own the content, friends. We don't own it. We just house it. Think of a house, okay? When you come into a house, there's lots of different rooms you can explore. And in the hub with your members area, you give your preschool parents access to whatever you want. If a Tuesday, Thursday class only gets access, access to this or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or you know the live class only gets this or whatever, you choose what they get access to. You can choose to not have the 600 videos. You can choose to have them plus your videos, whatever you like, okay? Um, it's your content. We do not own it. Um, yes. How do you do the pricing for 10 months? You wouldn't know how much to charge. Bethany, we cover exactly how much to charge for local preschool inside of preschool in a box. And we'll teach you that through the 30 day challenge. Uh, Renee, you're going with Monday, Wednesday live, but is all right to repeat the lessons that you taught live pre-record on Tuesday, Thursday. Um, Yes, but you're not going to repeat the lessons. Um, I would just go live every day because um, live is not, you're not doing a lesson live. Live is, your lessons are in pre-recorded. Your live is like, hey, how are you doing? Johnny, uh, Go everybody go get your favorite stuffed animal. Oh my gosh, I love Johnny's bear. I love Susan's uh, giraffe, you know? Okay, everyone, let's spell our names. Johnny, how do you spell your name? Um, let me hear you. Oh, that's right. J-O-H, do you see what I'm saying? So it's very engaging. You can take kiddos off of uh, off of mute um, and it's an engaging live, okay? Uh, May, let's see here. Awesome, appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. I will send you the recording. Okay, I'm almost to the end of the questions. Awesome. Someone asked, what if I can't afford Hub and Preschool in a Box? Jump into Preschool All-Stars. Start doing the work. The work literally in our 30-day challenge, you do the work, you're going to put out the those posts to get the money, okay, to get the students. Work the system, all right? If you just jump into Preschool All-Stars and sit there and do nothing, I can't do anything for you. But we've built the system to do the work for you. You got to get in and do the work, okay? All right. All right, Alicia. Can, can you give a business owner the confidence and support that could be needed? Alicia, Yes. Trust me, when I started my preschool, when anybody starts their preschool, our confidence is this is like ground, right? Like no confidence in ourselves usually because we've never done it before. So once you start going through our training, you start learning things, you start doing things. You're like, I'm doing things I've never done before. That builds your confidence every single time. Also, I love to use our professional materials that we give you done for you because guess what that does? That builds your own confidence that you're putting out all this professional content and links and marketing and websites that other people are going to have trust in you because it looks so professional. Da -da -da. 
Tanya, what if you don't get the link? You can email me because <laughs> you're obviously supposed to get the link. Yep. Send me a DM. Send me the link. Send me an email. If you got this link, you're going to get the link for them too. Um, let's see here. Um, Mokina, how will the family have access? Let's see here. Oh, Mokina, they get an email and a password. Good question. Awesome. Okay, friends, that is the end of our questions. I hope this has served you. I hope you saw how easy it was to start an online preschool. And thank you again for being here. Again, go to preschoolallstars.com to be able to immediately get on that early bird list. And tomorrow, Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern, you will receive the email to get your early bird bonus and jump into preschool all-stars. That bonus is only available Sunday. After Sunday, once Monday comes, we're done. That early bird bonus goes away. Friends, you're awesome, and we will see you soon. I'll send out the recording. Bye.